Hey, what is up YouTube? So I came up with a design for a deck. All of the materials have arrived and now I'm ready to build this thing. So let's get to it. So first thing I want to say definitely is that I am not a professional. I did have to research my local city codes before I designed this deck. And you can see I had a lot of help from family, which I'm very grateful for. So here we use six six by six posts, dug a little deeper than 24 inches, poured concrete, leveled, gave enough time to dry. This is where we constructed the outside frame. We kept double checking the level to make sure everything is good as we can get it. The joists were installed next. We used metal hangers to make sure everything was attached properly and securely. Now we bring out the treks. We went with composite flooring to ensure the longevity of the deck. Plus it looks pretty cool to see the fasteners hidden in between the boards rather than on top. We also used Trex square edge boards for the outside border. One thing I was very particular about is that I did not want any visibility underneath the deck. So we enclosed it using fiber cement siding, which is less expensive than Trex. Now for the fun part, the steps. To make things simple, we just went to Home Depot and bought the step template and used it as a template to trace and make more joists or supports or whatever you call them. So here's where we did things a little bit untraditionally. Instead of pouring a concrete slab first, we left room under the steps, built a frame around it, and poured the concrete in later. Which actually turned out to be very solid. This is where I cut out siding for the inside of the steps, and I used Trex square edge boards for the top of the steps. Which actually gave me the perfect overhang that I needed. It's kind of funny, I remember feeling super accomplished when we got the tops of the steps finished. It was just very time consuming to do, and felt pretty good to get done. Another thing I did not want was water around the post area, so I ended up extending the gutters uh, underneath the deck all the way to the outside, which I eventually will bury under the ground. Once I finished closing off the side of the deck with siding, I was really debating on what I should do on the side of the steps, how I want to close that up. Then a really cool option that we thought of was to use the remaining Trex cutoffs that we had left over. I ended up cutting 45 degree angles on both boards where they met. Due to the overhang of the top steps, I had to cut the Trex board at a diagonal cut, which actually I believe turned out to be very nice looking. So once the siding on the steps were completed, there was one thing left to do, which was to paint the siding to match the house and also install the proper railing, which I'm actually going to do in a different video, it will be a different part. Also planning to make some custom additions to the patio area, which will be also in a separate video, so keep your eye out for that. 